There is a growing concern over the rise in numbers of drug abusers all over the world, which is in turn leading to loss of life and crime. It is a growing nuisance in many societies as school and college-going kids who have become addicted now have no regard for life and would even kill to get their fix. As countries fight to raise awareness about how substance abuse and alcohol misuse affect the mental health of an individual, especially kids, creating opportunities for disadvantaged persons code up, together with their development partner food, have intensified desensitization across schools in Freetown with supplementary focus to educate and strengthen children's mind to help them cope with disappointments in life. We engage about um, eight schools in the eastern part of Freetown. We started from Wellington, so we end it here today at um, Loradov Secondary School to continuously educate children on substance abuse and mental health education. Because we all know substance abuse and mental health education, these are education that are not in school. And we see the increase of substance abuse among our young boys and girls every day. So it is our responsibility as we are about to commemorate the International Day Against Drug and Illicit Trafficking to catch them now when they are young and also tell them the implications and also tell them about the help they needed if we have any abuser within, this, within the various schools we have visited. Drug abuse and alcohol misuse does not necessarily mean using drugs such as cocaine, cannabis, sedative, hypnotics, but also encompasses prescription medication such as painkillers, sleeping pills, and tranquilizers. Well, the aim of this drive is that we want to, we really want to establish um, programs in schools. We are, we are working on it assiduously. We want, just want to see how it's matched because we want to try very hard to help with drug education and substance abuse education in school. So we want to, you know, raise this awareness and have like, you know, with the little school clubs we have in various schools, for us to utilize them very well, engage students, if possible, train teachers, and also the students to serve as ambassadors on drug and alcohol issues and also mental health education. What impact does such education have on the teaching and learning process in schools? Well, my expectation is I want you to be coming to be helping me to sensitize them more because it is not easy for me as I am the only vocal person of this school. So I want you to be coming so that you help me to sensitize so that these children will deviate themselves from taking drugs, uh, alcohol, and even the uh, participating in this child abuse. Well, I feel so excited because of if we came here to come and sensitize us about this drug abuse, yeah, I too will tell my colleagues to stop taking uh, drugs. God is not good for their health. Well, I feel proud and I feel like the advice you're trying to give me, and I just need to practice it and need to share it among those who used to do blood abuse and advise them that it is not good to do blood abuse, but it is very harmful for them and their health in general. A couple of schools that benefited include the Mission School and Zaru Islamic Secondary School. Bishop Johnson, King Fahad Secondary School, Cathedral Primary School, and the Loradov Secondary School. For Star News, I am Moses Ojukamara.